Good evening and thank you for joining us. Staff and patients at the Thunder Bay Regional Hospital will have to keep masking inside the facility even after the provincial mask mandate is dropped on Saturday. Hospital officials say their existing policies won't change at all, citing the protection of staff and vulnerable patients as the reason for that decision. Corey Nordstrom has the details. This is paramount for the prevention of spread of uh, COVID. The Thunder Bay Regional Hospital will not be lifting their mandatory mask policy June 11th, the date it's no longer required by the province of Ontario. Chief of Staff Dr. Bradley Jacobson notes that they are one of many hospitals keeping the mandate and explains that they're looking out for staff and vulnerable patients. We're looking at people with organ transplants that are immunocompromised, people with cancer treatments uh, that are just uh, very vulnerable to opportunistic infections. And Jacobson says the masks aren't likely to come off anytime soon. I think if I have to commit at this point in time, it will be a longer period of time that we will expect that. So we'll just continue to monitor uh, national, provincial, local um, experiences as far as numbers and admissions. There are theories that the reduction of mask wearing may have led to more incidents of locals becoming sick with colds or the flu. While a definitive link cannot be made, a late cold and flu season seems to be showing proof at the hospital bit of an increase with people presenting with uh, upper respiratory tract infections to the emergency department, uh, but there has not been a significant, significant increase in the number of admissions that we've seen from those patients. The hospital also recently relaxed its COVID response level. Similar to its masking stance, the public will not notice a change. The move from red to orange will only be seen by staff, according to Jacobson. Corey Nordstrom, TBT News.